Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and I have found a website for character randomization now. Unfortunately, it's not quite as embedded as it was before, but I found a decent one that we can try out. So I'm going to randomize the character on there now and see who we get. We got Bethany. Okay. Interesting one because Bethany can be a little tricky. Um, by the way, this is going to randomize between tainted and non-tainted. So it depends. We could get multiple tainteds in a row or multiple norms in a row. Um, we're just going to jump in as Bethany and see how we go. Um, yeah, not a particularly easy character by any means. But ooh, baby. Cricket's body to start is stupendously good. Um, an item that I very much like. The only downside is the negative to range. But... Range uh, on this character as of base is not bad, so not particularly bad at all. Um, and, and realistically, this is going to add a lot of damage early on. Um, also, just synergistic as heck. One of my favorite things about it is uh, more shots means more chance to trigger tier effects, things like that. So really nice for those sort of reasons. Um, as long as we can keep a few wisps about, we should be mostly okay. I'm hoping we can get an early-ish active. That was very close. Um, ooh, we got an active there. Unfortunately, it's an active we're going to have to take damage for. Plus three coins on first pickup costs one coin and a charge not to use. On use summons a spinning coin. Spinning coins now ricochet tears into enemies um, for extra damage. Picking up a coin before it expires recharges one notch. I'm going to take the damage for that, I think. Ooh, it's got a specific um, charge bar on it. That's kind of interesting. <clears throat> so it costs money to use, which makes it a little more difficult to effectively use, but... I'm, I'm down for this to see how it works and, and try it out. And I mean, it is an active item, so it should produce a wisp um, when we use it. I wonder if it'll have a bespoke wisp or if it'll um, have a custom, uh, sorry, a custom wisp or if it'll have a default wisp. I really am unsure on that. Um, the charge bar seems to st be staying at three for now, so I'm not going to use it until the boss because I don't want to waste money if I don't have to. Little annoying here. Yep, yeah, was pretty likely to get hit there, unfortunately, just based on the way that these enemies work. Um, and there's a chest there as well. Okay. I'm... Oh. Okay. Oh my goodness. This, is, this seems good. It, do, it Unfortunately... Oh wait, no. It is producing a wisp. And it produces a regular wisp too. That's very good. Okay, this seems... This seems ludicrously good. <laughs> uh, ooh. Ooh. Stick is pretty good, um, plus two times damage while held. Good for us for a little bit. Probably won't end up keeping that for long, but we'll see. But yeah, so we can pick the coin back up, and we essentially, if we fire at the coin, it just does crazy good damage, so... Seems pretty good. It also gives us a wisp every time, which is insane. Yeah, this this is... This is so good. I think Cricket's body's making it even better. Yeah, I, I like this. <laughs> I like this quite a bit. Does mean we're going to lose the coin a lot, but the fact that it creates a regular wisp every time is very strong for us. Because uh, it essentially means that we can always have an army of wisps. Because it doesn't even cost us money, because we can get that money back. Um, cherry Bomb is pretty good. Cherry Friends, even. But yeah, we can fire it a little bit and then do that. Gotta love this. Gotta love this. Hopefully we can keep our double damage for a little while as well. We'll see, we'll see. Pretty easy trip through the first floor here. Okay, so it does seem that... The ricochet is random, so it's not always like we're going to be able to get a ton of damage out of this. Often we can. Often we can, but not always. Mustard seeds, pretty good for us as well. Not going to open those chests right now. Um, I will grab this. Mustard seeds good with uh with tier effect. It's a tier effect, so it's good for us as well. We're just gonna need like a, a if we can get some sort of regular way of gaining money, then we're like even just like sack of pennies is enough. Um, so to make this really really strong. Ooh, our, our hair uh, hair reflection is pretty wacky. He 
Even that trinket, if we lose our stick here, is pretty good for gaining money. We got options. We got options. We just got to time it right with picking the coin back up. That's the way you got to do it. Furton? Not exactly sure how Furton's going to work with... Okay, no, it still splits into shots. Nice. Okay. Really good. Really good. I was worried it wasn't going to work with, um, with Cricket's body for a second there, but it, it works perfectly fine with Cricket's body. Oh, is this guy, like, permanently charmed now? Okay. Beautiful stuff thus far. Oh, hello. We've got a ferry. We've got a lot going on in here. I mean, this is a good room for making money if we can get some bombs. Goddamn, the hair physics reflections in, in the best. <laughs> Stars, we've already been there. Psy Hunter will just summon. Why not? We've got a tinted rock there as well. Yeah, we don't actually need to use our coin flipper thing right now. We have we have no real need for it while we've got uh, a full roster of wisps and good damage. There's no point risking losing the money. Good, good. Oh, troll bomb. I really could have used you there. That's a bit annoying. Um, right. <clears throat> I don't even know how it's going to work with Furton, you know. Okay, it does still work with Furton. Good. Good, good. Cube of Rot is fine. We might just keep our double damage for going for a little while here. I'm really liking the fact that Cricket's body's still working for us. It's very, very nice. Sai Hunter, that was kind of rude. Um, I'm trying to do these extra rooms to try and get more bombs to blow up all that stuff in the room to get a bunch of money. I think it'll be quite worthwhile. Cracked dice, unfortunately. There isn't nothing that could make me drop this uh, trinket until it breaks. Okay. I guess I just go and bomb as much as I can in there with the one bomb I have. It should be this amount. That's contraband. Unfortunately, I, I just I can't be taking that. We did get some bombs back though. Um, and I'll go for the tinted rock as well, rather than that guy. <clears throat> just in case we get small rock. We didn't. We did get a good chest there. Oh, yes, baby. The chest had so much money in it. Okay. We are good to go. We are good to go. Next floor. Okay, this is a pretty safe run thus far. This is a pretty safe run. I mean, we're getting locusts every floor as well, which I really like. We've got three now. I'm sorry, contraband guy. It just wasn't worth it. Don't know what all the blood was about there, but I'll take it. Oh, it's Mustard Seed that gave us those maggots. I was wondering where we got those maggots from. Yeah, it's Mustard Seed, isn't it, of course. Is that emoji glasses? Uh, I think that, I think they'll be good. Ah, to be fair, I should have, I should have done the, the risk thing. I don't really think about that. Yeah, overall, emoji glasses with Furton should be actually okay. Yeah, this is definitely a weird one. Definitely a weirdo run, but we like weirdo runs every now and again, don't we? You gotta have them on occasion. I'm liking Cherry Bomb as well for just charming everything. I think that's what it's doing, at least. It seems to be. More HP. Honestly, the longer we can keep this stick alive, the better. I mean, we're, we're at like 9 damage, so our damage is good um, once we get rid of this, because we'll be at 4.5. It's, it's not bad. But staying at... Um, Staying at double damage for a little while, at least, is going to be good. I just want to do a, a bit of an experiment here. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm at the max wisps. I just wanted to check if I was at maximum amount of wisps. That's basically what I'm going to use my active for primarily now, is just making sure that I'm always at the maximum amount of whips that, wisps I can have. Because, um, yeah, that's pretty, pretty broken right now. Because it just protects us is the main thing. Some more money going there. We got ourselves some special coins in there as well from Milkshake mod. I absolutely love that they can drop normally now. 
adds a little bit of flavor to the game. Definitely makes the game a little bit easier because it's just a straight up bonus on top of coins that you would have already been getting that were normal. But I think they're fun, so who gives a damn? Also, with Fiend Folio enabled, game's already hard enough. Most people that are modding are using Fiend Folio nowadays. Vast majority, at least. Okay, go straight for our boss here. Hope our angel pays off. So that's perfection. I'm still going to stick with my double damage, I think. We did get booster pack here, which isn't the best for us. Fool, justice... Double bombs there is nice. Lose all of your coins. Uh, nah, that's not going to be good for us. Um, unfortunately, not what we wanted from here. Perfection, no thank you. And yeah, unfortunately all these cards are not really great. And I don't really remember what a lot of these do. Wisdom, second secret room teleport, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Uh, we should probably go to the shop considering our money. Like, I know we want to keep money, but still. Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. I just used the key that I wanted to use for the shop. You fool! Oh my god, everything requires keys nowadays. Oh, there's another tinted rock here. What is going on with the tinted rock right now? It's crazy. Anyways, we shall carry on down. I'm not going to use the rest of those because I don't know what they do. I need EID descriptions, boys. We do have a wide variety of various hearts going on right now. I will do this. By the way, does anyone ever not just move these chests closer to each other? Has that ever not happened? <laughs> Tiny planet, you say. Oh, do I really want to take this run for a wild one? I don't even know what it'll do, so yeah, let's take it. Okay. It's... It's real wacky. It's real wacky. It's real peculiar is what it is. Don't particularly know how good slash bad it is, but it's real peculiar, I can tell you that for sure. We seem to be killing reasonably quickly still, so I think so far so good. I think so far so good. With our wisps and stuff as well, we are able to directly fire at the enemy. Okay, we are lacking keys right now that I wasted on the last floor. Well, hello there, good sir. Hey, there's our key. Thank you. Some beautiful stuff. And like I said, I still want to take uh, risks on runs. Chance to fire a tears that inflict enemies with hemorrhaging. Hemorrhaging enemies periodically take damage. Yada 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 yada. That's all good with me. <clears throat> I like lawn darts. Gimme gimme. Black candle I will most certainly take. Remove curses. Also, if we ever decide to change our active, we have a lot of soul hearts ready to go. Yeah, we're hitting enemies, like, relatively easily. It's not, it's not really hampering our success all that much. It's all good in this hood. Cube of meat. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Oh, it turned into another cube of rot, I think, though. Yeah, it looks like it's a second cube of rot. I think cube of rot inflicts um, ball of bandages and cube of meat and makes them into itself, sort of thing. This is, this is great. Oh my lord, okay. So, hitting the coins is kind of insane in this. 
blood penny there. Wow. My goodness. What have we created here? I've not even done question of the day, boys. My god. Question of the day today. Let's let's get it in late. What's your favorite game you've ever completed? And what's it what another one? Oh no. It finally happened. He jumped right on me. Shame. Okay, so we're not going to be as crazy powerful as we just were. Our damage is now halved, but... Oh my god, look how beautiful that is. Um, It's still going to be good, though. Bit of a shame to get hit there. Guy jumped directly on top of me. There wasn't really much I could do to avoid it, apart from getting out the way early. But how could I have done that when I didn't know it was going to happen? Crawl space here is Peeper's Eye, unfortunately, but it's something. Oh, did it just open that chest? Thank God I had a key in it. I did not want to open that chest. Fuck! I literally looked to see if it was Mother, noticed it was Mother, and still walked in. Missed out on an item room here. And it's not even worth anything because we don't get planetariums on the next floor either. And I could have taken telescope lens to get planetariums on the next few floors, and I didn't, so... How's about that, people? How's about that? That was some top-tier stupidity from me there. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the risk. Just because I love Hemolacria. It might ruin our run. Because the the low, low fire rate it gives us. It doesn't seem to have. Still seems fairly easy to hit things, and it, we're still doing incredibly good damage, so... All seems good in this world right now. I was very tempted to take anti-grab just because it was weird, but... I feel like that would have been a step too far. But this is what I mean by taking risks on these streaks. I don't want to completely eliminate risk. I still want to take some weird risks here and there. Can you, like, get off of the rocks, my guy? <laughs> but don't know what happened to him, but he got mullered. Because basically it seems like they fire weirdly to begin with, but then after that they just circle as like normal tears. So it's kind of maybe just like the best of both worlds. I love the coin thing when it gets going, it's beautiful. Just It's just a little hard to actually accurately aim at a single enemy. When it's like a, just in a room and we can hit basically the entire room to hit everywhere, it's fine. But when it's a singular enemy in a large room, it makes it a little difficult. Like this guy, this this little, this little fella is going to be kind of hard to hit. What we'd really be looking for now is some fire rate increases to get back to where we were in terms of fire rate, but I doubt we're going to get that anytime soon. I don't know what happened there. Do you see, do you see how that enemy just like basically just ate shit and instantly died? That seems to happen every now and again, and I'm not really sure entirely what causes it. Okay, like the, the this dude here is a little bit of a bastard. We get him eventually, but. He's a little bit of a shit. And then we get pollution here as well, which is... He's just always been a bastard. I need to craft myself some more locust. Bugger off. Like, the, the the spider boy there took like half of his HP and damage, and I literally have zero clue as to why or how. Rebuild our wisp army. 
We're nearly done here, I'd reckon. Probably maybe three more waves. Yeah, these guys are eating up my, my wisps. Luckily, like I said, I can respawn them pretty efficiently, so it's not that bad. There we go. I think those Pergatory Ghosts are doing quite a lot of damage as well. Imagine this with double damage. Boy, be even better. It'd be even better. Oh god. Itchy nose. It happens at some point. It always comes. But yeah, for me, in terms of favourite game I've ever, ever completed, it's definitely got to be Hollow Knight. I actually did it as a YouTube series if anyone hasn't seen that. It's one of my favourite YouTube series I've ever done. Um... I really thoroughly enjoyed the game and the series as a whole, so it's one, it's one of those ones that, like, I look back on very, very fondly, and I'm really looking forward to Silk Song coming out and doing a series on that. Even though it probably won't do the best on YouTube, I don't give a damn, because it'll be hella fun. This last wave? We've not seen any angels yet, though, so I don't think this is last wave. Ah, oh, we got Kingpin yet, apparently. Didn't realise he was still yet to show his... Rear his ugly head. His hideous head, more like. There you go. Ooh, Continuum's an interesting one for us here. Continuum's a very interesting one for us here. That could actually be very, very good. I think. I think. We'll see. Yeah, for the most part, we're kind of fighting with invisible magic, essentially. But invisible magic that's working pretty well, so I won't, I won't knock it. This is the undying guy. Pops out a maggot. Our hair physics once again are getting real wacky due to the, uh, due to the reflection. What I could do, like, in a boss fight is I could just spam coins constantly once I have enough money to just, like, cover the room and constantly be generating those extra damage shots. Is this guy an actual enemy? There you go. Yes, he is. Right. Boss time. Like, just do this sort of thing. Yeah, that, that, that works extremely well. Got a devil deal here. I'll check it, but... Ooh, something new over here. Curse up. It's two hearts, which scares me. The Beast of Prophecy. I mean... <sighs> I've not got great HP right now. I'd have... I'd have one, two, three... I'd have five hearts left. We're not really getting hit much. I'm going to gamble on this and see if it's good. It's it's quite the gamble, but... By the way, can I just say how we've kept our Locust Heart alive this entire time? We have an absolute army of Locusts right now. Yeah, I don't know what the Beast of Prophecy does. It might be, like, something that I never end up even seeing. But these items without EID descriptions, I feel like I've got to try at some point. And honestly, while I, I wouldn't say this is the safest run ever just because of my HP, like, the other circumstances of this run make it quite safe. The fact that we have ludicrous damage, the fact that we have infinite wisps, like... Pretty good stuff. And that's why you check your secret rooms early, my guys. Even though I didn't actually mean to, a bomb just hit it, but... <laughs> Let's let's pretend that's not what happened. I am worried we'll get hit by Mum um, a few times and lose some of our beautiful hearts we've got going on here. I wonder how much Continuum's affecting things. Bunch of cards here for sale. I don't actually know what any of these do. I'll take this one. Implosion. Ah, that's just the fireballs. So I don't care about that. Uh, I'm going to play this guy. I'm only going to go down to like 50, uh, 10 cent there. I'm going to say 15. I'll say 10.
dude didn't even pay out. What a what a goose. What a goose. Right, I'll come back to you because I would like to get a payout from you. I, I want to make sure I've always got coins to utilize for my active. Two more coins to use. Card there, unknown card. Here we go, more money, good, good. I'll go back to that arcade in a second. Kind of want to find the boss first. Oh, that coin's gone. It's on. It's on top of creep. Put your coins back there. Yeah, I found the boss. Good, good. I thought it was this way. I will bomb for a single coin. I don't really need my bombs right now. Right. Go and pay this guy out. Another 10 cent to him. I just want to HP up. Like, mapping would also be nice, but HP up is really what I'm looking for here. Just to, just to make myself feel a little bit better about that HP trade for an item that seemingly hasn't done anything so far. But, might be doing something behind the scenes that we're not seeing. Come on, my guy. Don't be like this. There you go, that's our HP up. Lovely. Pretty reliable way to get a HP up. And it makes me feel a lot more confident about my current HP. Right. Boss time. Just throw out a bunch of coins, like three coins. Get some craziness going on. Ayo. And up we go. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, that, that coin strategy. If we can just throw out a bunch of coins, straight away works really, really well. Leave those guys to it. Oh, God, this is a horrible, horrible room. Hands and ghosts are not what I want to be fighting. Luckily, they're all dead pretty darn quickly. Hopefully, this is the way to the boss. I'm just going to try and create some more wisps here. There you go. Just to make sure they're all ready. Yeah, this is this is the problem with not adding in custom modded wisps to your active items that work like this. It makes them too strong. Obviously, it wasn't intentional, but... Uh, I was going to say what's going on in this room, but there's some policies, I see. That makes a lot more sense. Bombable pot there, lovely. This should, this should give us some money as well, right? Yeah. Only a little bit, but it's some. And we get Sissy! Welcome to the club, Sissy. This should be the way to the boss as well here. Looks, looks right to me. I can't believe how little damage we've taken over the course of this run. I mean, obviously it's because we just have this permanent circle of wisps around us for the most part. I feel like I've also played pretty well and our damage is just ludicrously good. A double damage for the first portion of the run and then really good damage after that. Right, I might get hit by this. I still don't really know fully how to dodge this correctly. Nice. Oh my god, this, this is just insane on screen. Photon plus Hemolacria is weird. I mean, the Cricket's body in there as well is making things even weirder. Beautiful. Decent. Decent. And bad. Are you two ready to die yet? What's what's going on? There you go. You're ready to die now. Good. 
Bad rumors first room there, but hey her. Right, boss, where art thou? Don't you mess me around too much. Skorlex in here? Okay. Ooh, he's hemorrhaging. The bleed on him is insane. Lawn darts are doing their thing. And they are doing it right. Ooh, God, every one of those segments gave us a leech. Weird. Don't know why that is. Must be classed as leeches in the curve or something. Oh, we got that ghost thing chasing us. Oh, man. This is just domination. I love it. Got to kill the boss before these two die, which is slightly annoying. Not impossible. More coins, yes please. I will continue to use them a lot. A lot of these rooms with the invincible enemies right now. And just a lot of leeches chilling about here too. Not a bad thing. Trying to use the coins when I can, but they're not entirely necessary every room. Not had any uh, items yet though. Despite having two luck. I mean, two luck's not a lot, but you should you should see one item, I think, by now. Yeah, we can just shoot straight over those blocks. You fools. That was a very bad hit there. Ah, uh, we finally lost one of our special hearts. On the whole run with that special heart, we finally lost it. But the Locust one is still strong. We managed to keep it for pretty much every single floor. Lots of hearts on the floor as well. And here's our boss. Good, good. We have 17 coins to throw at the fight as well. 18 if I'd have picked that one up, but I did not. Basically, I just think we periodically throw out a coin every now and again. And hope it hits him. We don't need the money anymore, do we, sir? Oh, we can't use it anymore. We've only got four uses in our room. I see how that works now. Not had to wait or rely on that before, so... Didn't mean anything to us, but now it makes sense. Even four uses in a room is a lot, though. Considering how strong it seems to be. Anyways, good sir. It seems you are about to perish. It was fun sparring with you. But we will say goodnight now. And end off this run. Only taking maybe like four hits over the course of the whole run. Absolutely amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.